Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, let's have a, a little evening reading. It's nearly 11 o'clock and I felt the urge to check into the energy, guys. <clears throat> guys, guys and girls. Is that, what we, is that what we should do? Should we do the guys and the girls? Okay, let's, um, <laughs> let's go with the guys first. Okay, let's have a look. We've got the tarot to go. <clears throat> Check into the Divine Masculine's energy first. Let's give these cards a shuffle. Just brush that down. <laughs> a little tiny cards. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at these cards. What's going on with the Divine Masculine? Why do I feel the urge to check in on the energy this evening? Oh, you're busy working. Are you up late working? Okay, you're preparing something. You're preparing an offering. An offering of love. You're polishing up your act here. Okay, I actually feel like you might be studying. I was just going to say, have I got a book I can read to you? Only the same books that I've been using that are to hand um, for the element readings. So I feel like you're learning a lot. I just feel that's the card of the studier. Okay, see, look, you've got like a an L plate there. A right angle. You're coming in at the right angle. Okay. Good for you. There you go. Good for you, Divine Masculine. <clears throat> so it looks like... I feel like you might have lost... Um, what's, I wanted to say you might have lost consciousness with time. But that's not really what I wanted to say. But that wasn't how I would have pronounced it or put it. So it's concept. It's like you seem to have lost all concepts of time and um, you're being driven by love. You've got some angel wings here. Got that, your little elf's hat on. Felt the cards were little. I feel like you might be feeling a little bit league, a little bit, <clears throat> maybe out of your league, okay, but feeling a little bit little. So you're putting in the extra work and study. And I feel that's because you feel. Um, more competent and capable if you know what you're talking about okay <laughs> right well let's have a look at some more cards okay i felt like you've put your hand up to love as if to say okay i'm ready i'm ready for love now after you've done all this work this is really nice energy divine masculine look all the hard work is just about to pay off paying up it's like cough up Okay, coughed up a fish. <laughs> love. Really nice love energy here coming through. Right, the bottom of the deck is, oh, look at this. You're ready, Divine Masculine. You're ready for the Divine Feminine. It feels like the Divine Feminine's ready for you. She's preparing. She is prepared. Okay, they're looking up. So the Feminines here, I would say we're looking up for a sign. Okay, we'll find out more. So, the Four of Wands is the connection between you and the Divine Feminine and about you both being ready to embrace this in the physical. The Four of Wands, the Four of Rods here, is, it actually talks about community as well, um, about sharing. Should we say you're sharing this love um, for all to see? Well, that's, uh, that's what's going to be seen anyway, because all this is still a little bit undercover at night doing your study work, <clears throat> preparing this offering. And um, let's have a look at the book. I am. I am. I am. I am I, angelic messages. We have pain. I've opened up to pain here. <clears throat> Connecting with your pain body, maybe. Okay. Pain can be physical or energetic. Both can feel strong. Both will feel real. Both will pull you down if you don't keep them within good control. You're connecting with Archangel Raphael and he's your personal guardian. Synchronising with crystals, blue lace agate, rose quartz, red, red jasper, sugar light and malacite. I am I. I am positive. Love is positive. This. 
You're working on your positivity. Okay. <clears throat> I am positive. <clears throat> Love is positive. The energies of nature are neutral until turned into a negative or positive charge through attention, use or intent. Positive and negative are different polarities, like the opposite ends of a mag of a magnet. Okay, of a magnet. I was gonna say of a magnet. Of a magnet, like fire and water, both exist simultaneously, but together the two will not mix. I am I. People handle pain very differently. Physical pain can engulf you completely until it's brought under control. There's usually a cause somewhere within the physical body, sometimes even caused by emotions and memory imprint that once addressed becomes better or released. So you're definitely addressing some issues here. Well, this is like studying, wanting to maybe, well, I'm feeling the energy of you wanting to heal. Okay. I am I. It often comes down to personal mindset. If you can rise above it, then pain can be easier to manage once causes are correctly determined. If you let pain engulf you, you'll become it. If pain rules your kingdom, your whole outlook will reflect those limitations that appear to exist. But the pain we speak of here today is pain on an emotional level linked to past memories and hurts that won't fade or present patterns and conditions taken personally, often imposed by other people, circumstances, that when grip can take control until nothing else seemingly matters or exists. Yet you have control of your life and your senses completely. Nothing and no one can hurt you unless on some level you let them. This acceptance is often subconscious. You can be so used to struggling, living and being that you forgot other options exist. I am I. We'll read this last part here. Emotional pain is more like a virus. It becomes all-consuming, will sabotage at will and has no other purpose but to multiply itself and will keep on doing so until somehow, sometime, you realise pain is a negative. There is no such thing as a positive pain unless in your mind you invent it or it's needed to slow you down to recuperate. That could be classed as a positive pain if it slows you down to recuperate. Okay. Are you coming over? Come on in. Divine Masculine, let's get you an angel prayer here. Count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. I'm going to read from the book. Hold on. Hold on a minute, Jasper. Let's get the book. I'm having a look at these uh, angel wings here. Because I'm picking up that's what's on the Divine Masculine's helmet here. Count your blessings. There's a gratitude list she's writing here for God, for love. As you count your blessings, you become a magnet to even more blessings. When you draw this card, the angels are encouraging you to see blessings in your current situation. It is important you keep yourself focused and aligned with loving experiences in your life as this will lead you safely to the next step, allowing love to lead the way. So it's important to keep yourself focused and aligned with loving experiences in your life as this will lead you safely to the next step. Okay, the expanded interpretation. Take some time to see the amazing things in your life. The angels aren't calling you ungrateful, but they want you to realise what you have in your life. 
It is important to focus on what you have rather than what you don't have because it will help you stay present, focused and open to the abundance of support that there is for you right now. Start writing down your blessings and give thanks to your creator for them. Just have a look and see what other cards I've got. I felt very drawn to go to the roomy deck. <coughs> Maybe we'll get an energy card first. Why are you shaking your head? Like saying no. Let me check into the energy. Okay. We have an energy card for the Divine Masculines, please. Interesting. In reverse, first chakra, Archangel Michael. Now, uh, this is the base chakra, the root chakra. If this area is unbalanced, then you are completely out of alignment. You do need your base chakra to be balanced because that's about your sense of safety, survival, security. Okay. So needing, I want to say needing to feel safe in love. In, in love's care, in the care of love. Okay, let's have a look. Card number 35, first chakra, Archangel Michael, and it's in reverse. When this card shows up in a reverse position, you may be facing some significant challenges and even some very difficult emotions. The energy in your first chakra may be blocked, revealing potential fears about your safety feelings of insecurity or even depression. This blocked energy could also signal financial worry or desperation. Issues of instability can shake you to your very core, so it's going to be important to get the energy moving freely through this chakra once again. I feel like Jasper's just putting his head down, like burying his head, as if you're quite embarrassed about um, maybe feeling well, depression's really coming through. Rather embarrassed, not wanting... Like, he shook his head about, like, tapping into the energy. So, um, this is you admitting to yourself that, you know, you could do with um, some... Well, it's about you being uplifted. You could do with some support. Should we say that? So, the energy in your first chakra may be blocked, revealing potential fears about your safety, feelings of insecurity or even depression. This blocked energy could also signal financial worry or desperation. And nobody likes to feel um, desperate, let alone let anyone else feel, feel, <laughs> feel their feelings. Issues of instability can shake you to your very core, so it's going to be important to get the energy moving freely through this chakra once again. Call upon Michael for assistance and visualise his light and power filling this area and bringing you a greater sense of your own true, true strength and eternal stability. Meditate on the affirmation below and feel your sense of safety and balance return. Root chakra, right at the base of your spine. Affirmation, my first chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state. I am strong, stable, safe and secure. The Archangel Michael guides and supports me always. Okay. We've got another card underneath, which is in reverse. Healer of the Ages, card number 51. Let's have a look at this energy and why it's in reverse. Jasper, I felt like you was going to nip at me then. Let me just read the message. Listen, if we know what's going on, then it's easier to be able to support and understand. Okay, so when reversed, the healer of the ages indicates that you've been feeling extremely out of sorts or even upside down in your own life. You may be in the midst of some physical problem or just feeling as though you're losing energy, but this card is telling you that there are deeper levels of healing that need to be addressed. And that takes me back to this first card is that you are dealing with what needs to be dealt. Knight of Knight of Wands, I just saw then. We know what card it is, this one here. 
Darling, don't nip at me. <laughs> okay. It feels like let's not address it because I feel you are already addressing the issue. Okay. You're not? You're not addressing the issue, Jasper? Well, we'll see what Rumi wants to say in a moment. Take some time to regroup and put your own healing first. Whether you're facing mental, emotional, physical or even addictive patterns, call upon the healer of the ages to bring his energy to the issues you're working on. Quiet your mind and feel his vibration bringing you warmth and healing light, clearing away any dark or hurting space. Repeat this meditation and be patient. Yet also know that divine love can heal you in the blink of a belief. That's what it says. So I've got a meditation here to tell you. Repeat it. Repeat this meditation and be patient. Yet also know that divine love can heal you in the blink of a belief. Well, it says affirmation here, but I believe this is what they want you to meditate on. The powerful healing of eternal love is with me now and always. Divine consciousness fills every cell. I am whole, healthy, vital and at peace. Divine love can heal you in the blink of a belief. Divine love. Right, let's go to Rumi. Looks like all these cards are going to be towering down. Towering down? Built a bit of a tower here. Okay. Let's deal with it before it, it falls. That's what you need to do. You need to deal with... Uh, this tower moment that you're having, Divine Masculine, and feel extremely embarrassed to um, to speak about. Okay. Let's get you some Divine Guidance first. The answers you need to make miracles. Nothing is broken. Check your perspective instead. What you need will come to you. Assume nothing. Let go and let God work as necessary. Thoughts direct intention and raw creative force. What you perceive as reality might differ for someone else. Don't add false, add love. I am I. Mood swings affect everyone. Find your personal inner peace. Ask that all else be recycled and move on. I am I. And I said that about you don't want anyone else feeling like your depression. Okay, so mood swings affect everyone. Find your personal inner peace. Ask that all else be recycled and move on. I am I. Not everyone will understand where you're at or coming from. Don't push or try to change, but pull back instead. Wait for a better opportunity to open up. I will never let you down. I am I. That's beautiful, isn't it? Right, let's go to Rumi. Okay, a roomy message for the Divine Masculine. <clears throat> the impossible made possible. Was it in the water sign reading that they have from nothing to everything? Always takes me to this card, the impossible made possible. Right, let's have a read of this then, Divine Masculine. Card number nine. <clears throat> Love brings the sea into boiling and turns the mountains into a pebble. Love creates infinite openings in the dark sky and shudders the earth with its magnitude. Rumi. She spins this great earth goddess upon invisible strings amongst the wildly pulsating ballet of life. Stars are born, live and die all around her. Life moves in constant flux, and still she spins in her great loving, constant pirouette. How can this be? All of creation is born from nothing. Out of endless silence and darkness, light emerges. 
what strange magic is this? The sun heats the solar system and burns with the power to destroy life, yet it is a force by which life is sustained. Surely this makes no sense and cannot be. We dance in the realm of the impossible made possible constantly, you and I. We are so engrossed in it, so familiar with it, and yet blind to it, that these constant impossibilities happening in every moment fail to inspire us. Yet what are your biggest, boldest, most extraordinarily impossible dreams compared to this great impossibility of life itself? Ah, oh, they are but tiny seeds in the Creator's masterful hand, being now planted in the heavenly garden. Yes, they are being planted right now, for the moon tells us the time is right. Most of <laughs> It's, it's the price is right, but it's like, come on down, the time is right. <laughs> Most tenderly shall they be watched over, nurtured into fullness according to the season. Yes, that growth is assured, the impossible is now made possible. We only limit what we believe to be possible by our lack of imagination. The divine has recourse to all that is and all that is yet to be. Is there any limit to the resources of the heavens? No. So then why has not every impossible dream now been rendered possible, indeed manifesting shining glory upon the earth? The human heart knows everything envisioned can manifest according to divine timing and grace. Yet the mind does quake with fear, so much so that it will not listen to the heart at times. That fear is a childlike nightmare that should you offer yourself up to the sacred loving power of the great creator, you might be found to be lacking. And that takes me to the beginning of this reading again, where I said like you were feeling small, divine masculine, it make you feel more worthy, competent. So that fear is a childlike nightmare that should you offer yourself up to the to the sacred loving power of the great creator, you might be, might be found to be lacking. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to giggle, I can't get my words out. You might be found to be lacking. The mind holds itself captive with dark fantasies of that profound rejection and then avoids confronting it directly at all costs. It creates barriers instead, truly nothing more than lines in the sand yet believed to be thoughts. But what strongholds can resist love? It is like water. It seeps into every available space and changes form to survive in every environmental conditions. When, with, when, with unfailing intelligence, it creates life. From stream to ice, rainfall, the river, the ocean, Rain descending into snowflakes, snow capping the peak, expressing itself with beauty and genius. It nestles under the earth and rises to the sky, only to return to the earth again. It will erode blockages and prevail, no matter how long that process takes. It carves the earth into shape and form. Where it is, there is life. Such is the adaptable intelligence and persistence of water, just as is the power of love. So now you are guided by this loving power to drop the doubt, shed the, incrud the incrudility and open up the mind. Allow your imagination to be inspired as though you are a child in a great garden here in the breath of the wind. Okay. Allow your imagination to be inspired as though you are a child in a great garden, hearing the breath of the earth, in the wind whipped leaves, and the voices of the ancestors in birdsong. The universe wants something to happen for you, something beautiful, something utterly improbable, and something perfect for your path, your own unique divine destiny. Your mind will wonder if it is even possible. People around you may wonder the same thing, but your heart will burn for it to become real to become more 
than a fantastic improbable dream. You're wanted with all your soul. You may not even be consciously aware as yet what this great desire is, but your heart knows. It holds a secret knowledge and will unveil it when your mind can handle it. When your heart is much more powerful than your mind, you won't unintentionally block the incredible grace of manifestation seeking to pour into your thirsty soul like the sweetest, purest waters of blessed. It's a beautiful reading, Divine Masculine. I'm not even going to do a reading for the Divine Feminine. I'm going to carry on with yours. I want to speak to you a bit more. Okay, so let's go to the power of love. <clears throat> I know the Mother Mary would like to speak to you, but we should get a few cards in between. Let's go to the power of love. The power of your love, Divine Masculine. Activation cards. You're very settled, Jasper. Are you just listening, darling? Hmm? A pretty boy, pretty boy, darling. Creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. Well, thank the Lord for that, then, seeing as you're a light worker. You love to devise new ideas, innovation, and forms of illumination. Creativity. The most natural characteristic of a soul is creation. As a spiritual being, you are continually oh, you are continually being inspired by the higher self, source energy and the spirit world to express yourself in the physical dimension. You are constantly in a mode of creation even if you are not aware of it. Thoughts are creation and thoughts are real. And even though not every single one manifests itself physically, it nevertheless creates your reality. That is why it is so important to keep your thoughts high-minded. Judgment of yourself and others lowers your vibration of love. Your thoughts don't belong only to you. Their energy is part of the collective consciousness. Your creative spark may ignite and inspire the soul or mind of another. When you are blocking your creativity, you are not fully expressing your soul. This blockage may manifest in a number of ways, such as physical pain, anger, depression, anxiety and isolation. There may also be feelings of living an, an unfilled, unfilled, unfulfilled life. Always remember that you are of God and God is creativity. As a loving, visionary person, you can see the potential for that which has yet to exist in physical reality. The more you attune yourself to the loving energy of your heart, the more receptive you are to inspired ideas that bring earth closer to heaven. Should we have a look and see where you are on the journey of love? Divine Masculine, let's have a look. La la la, la 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 la, I need you baby, la la la, la 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 la, I got to have you baby. I'm not doing a very good job of shuffling those. Okay. <laughs> He's just like perched on my lap, <laughs> really. That's the only way to describe it. He's just perched on the lap. <clears throat> you have the Christ flame, card number 31. I felt the Christ energy come through in the healer of the ages that was reversed. I don't know if I can show you. Now, oh, where's the card gone? Okay, it's not there. <laughs> well, it was here somewhere. Anyway, it looked like Jesus 
on the picture. Okay, the Christ flame. Card number 31. Are you going down? Where else are you going? Just round the other... Okay, he's not going down. He's just going around the other side of the chair. 31. Divine Masculine, within you burns the flame of the Christ. Beyond religion, this flame belongs to all hearts willing to receive the divine, opening to it as a lover would open the heart to receive the beloved. Though the awakening of the Christ within brings greater closeness to the divine and therefore greater love and depth of compassion, it too can bring sadness, righteous anger and a passionate need to contribute positive healing action and change in the world. You may be an introspective soul who does this through mastering their inner world with meditation and yoga, raising your own vibration with absolute intent that this bring healing to the world around you. You may be an extroverted soul that thrives in sharing messages and living a life of dynamic action in support of the causes that are worthy and moving to your brave heart, capable of feeling divine outrage and responding with inspired action. You may be a combination of these soul types and choosing wisely what you consume, which companies you support, what television you do or do not watch and what you read, voting for the life you want to have around you in the world through your actions, internal and external. This is the Christ flame igniting within you, setting the world aflame with the fire of divine love. This oracle brings guidance that you are connecting with the universal Christ consciousness and your heart is meant to awaken as a sacred heart, bearing the Christ flame of divine love this lifetime. You are part of the wave of awakening happening on the earth now. You are exactly where you're meant to be and doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. Keep going. Keep going with the studies. Keep going with the love. Letting love lead the way. It's just about embracing love. It's nice. It feels like it's draped around you. <clears throat> and then there's a wave behind that's that's the part of part of the wave. That's part of the wave that you're part of. You are part of the wave. Of awakening happening on the earth now. You are exactly where you're meant to be and doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. So keep going. Keep going with the poem. Love is more than words can define. It is a feeling which wells up inside and longs for release. It is a smile which starts in my heart and spreads across my face like a silly grin. It is a knowing so deep in my being that every cell speaks in a language only lovers know. And most of all, it is the beginning, the birth, the possibility, the promise of a tomorrow, the hope that grows into something we can only imagine when hearts combine and love becomes more. When love becomes more. Wow, that's the title, when love becomes more, if I remember it. <laughs> Okay, let's finish with a Mother Mary card. Okay, and the card, the final card for this reading is Our Lady with the Moon at her feet. Now, I've been picking up on this moon energy. One of the cards said, the moon says it's the time. It's the time. The moon says it's the right time, okay? Card number 36. Let's read this message. La, 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 la. I have heard your heart prayers. I have heard you call in to me silently in suffering, wanting to let go and grow, and finding that despite all your effort, still you must endure. It is as if you are sinking when you want to rise, falling when you want to fly. I come to you now with the moon at my feet and ask you to put your trust in me. 
I will help you outgrow that which no longer serves so that what you struggle to attain now through effort in time will come naturally to you. Have faith. What you want is possible and I will help you get there. The power of habitual consciousness is mighty indeed, even if we know we want to change and even if we have taken practical steps to change, the challenge of sustaining ourselves in a new way without falling back into old emotional or psychological patterns can be extremely difficult. This is especially so if what you are seeking to change has been part of your core wounding this lifetime, becoming a habit that seems impossible to break, no matter how much you may want to do so. Well, you have the card, the impossible made possible. There is a force of gravity that works upon us in this world, not only physically, but emotionally and psychologically as well. It is why, despite tremendous des desire and effort, change can be difficult most times and sometimes even seem impossible at other times. To be able to grow in life, requires that we be able to intelligently respond to the challenges that are a natural part of being human. Sometimes those challenges will be self-created and we will want to let them go. These might include coping mechanisms that aren't really helpful for us, such as addictions or shutting people out and withdrawing into a solitude of suffering or disassociating through compulsive behaviours that undermine our self-esteem and emotional or even financial well-being. Sometimes the challenges will be circumstances imposed upon us by time or by others and we cannot control that situation and need to find a way not only to bear it but perhaps even if we are feeling bold to transform it from something negative or frustrating into an opportunity to do things differently, to feel more freedom. I feel like you're being bold, Divine Masculine. Okay. So sometimes the challenges will be circumstances imposed upon us by time or by others and we cannot control that situation and need to find a way not only to bear it, but perhaps even if we are feeling bold to transform it from something negative or frustrating into an opportunity to do things differently and feel more freedom. What is needed for transformation for healthy growth is strength, patience and an ability to respond intelligently to life's challenges with a view to making them work for your own personal growth. However, sometimes all of this is just not enough. Sometimes we move this way and that, we wait, we apply ourselves, we take practical steps and still, despite our best intentions, we may feel ourselves sliding backwards into old habits, old patterns of thinking or being, old emotional patterns. We might not even see them as patterns. We might instead just think that is the way life is and there is nothing we can do about it, but this is not true at all. In such instances, what is needed is the loving intervention and assistance of a being that is more powerful than the gravity that we are unable to counter through our efforts alone. There is no shame in this. Let me repeat this. In such instances, what is needed is the loving intervention and assistance of a being that is more powerful than the gravity that we are unable to counter through our efforts alone. There is no shame in this. In fact, there is wisdom in recognising when help is needed and in accepting it. Like a growing plant that needs a trellis until it has stabilised itself, so too do we humans need divine support at times along our path as we are mastering new levels of consciousness, new habits, new ways of being. If it was easy, everyone would be living exactly as they wanted to be living without any struggle. Clearly, this is not happening in the world as often as we may wish. The Divine Mother 
will help us move through our struggles if only we allow her to do so. Her being, her love, is more powerful than our greatest forces of habitual consciousness and behaviour. The miracles of her healing can transform even the most stubborn pessimist into an active optimist. Our Lady with the Moon at her feet comes to us when we are attempting to outgrow through inspiration, hope, love, bold spiritual daring or big dreams, that which seems to be holding us back or impossible to change. She tells us that through her intervention, we can find the support that we need as we face the challenges of growth and she will lend us her power to be able to reach for that star which without her would perhaps be somewhat beyond our reach for now at least. She also tells us that if we are feeling boxed in or diverted from our higher, from our higher purpose in life, she will help us. She asks us to pray to her and to know that what is now is not what must always be. Transformation and healing is possible, but you must trust her. You must place more faith in her than in what appears to be an insolvable or reoccurring difficulty. This oracle is a wild card in the deck in that it empowers and strengthens any other message that you receive. If you receive this card on its own, it is enough. But if you choose another card as well, this card asks you to pay extra special attention to the guidance in the other card you choose. Would you like to choose another card? We can choose another card. You only have to ask. <clears throat> the following healing process will help you connect with Our Lady and receive her beneficial help. So the healing process and affirmation. Sense or perceive that it is the darkest night all around you. Quiet, open space extends around in all directions. You become aware of a magnificent holy woman, lit up like a star in the night sky. She stands with bare feet upon a crescent moon. You notice the moon under her feet. Perhaps you cannot help but look at it. It has a strange glow and is fascinating and mysterious. And then you become aware of the feet of the holy woman. As you gaze at her feet, the dark night and the moon fade away and you are aware of her feet glowing radiantly. A white sun burns in each foot. The light and warmth of those suns shines on you. Imagine you can feel or intend to receive the light and warmth of those suns on your face, your body, all the way into your heart. When you are ready, complete your process with the following healing affirmation, said aloud if possible, with feeling from the heart. Holy Mother Mary, Our Lady with the moon at her feet, Protect me with your heavenly grace. Where I would stumble, your love uplifts me. Where I would fail to see, your love opens the eye in my heart and gives me vision. Where I might fail, you ensure success. Together, I and all beings succeed in healing growth. I open and surrender into your tender blessing and merciful grace that I will fulfil my divine destiny. That's the spirit. <laughs> Sound like Mr Punch. <laughs> Let's get another message. That's the spirit. It's meant to be that's the way to do it. Okay. <laughs> Our Lady of Creative Choice, card number 10. Very important message been coming through last days, last days, the last few days about create creativity, artistic nature. Okay, pay extra special attention to this message, guys. Card number 10, Our Lady of Creative Choice. <clears throat> Thank you. 
You have my power within you and you are free beyond wildest imagination. Do you know that you are a slave to no thing and to no one? You are a divine being with the power of creative choice. You can create worlds, my beloved. Even the smallest choice contains great creative power. Do not cast your power aside, my child. Choose to trust me, to live with an open, vulnerable heart and to let my grace flood through you in rapturous waves of light. Choose wisely, creatively and well. Yet do not fear your power, for the best choice you can make is to learn from all your experiences. I will guide you to use your power to create healing difference in your life now. You have at your disposal the power of heaven. I will guide you to use it well. One small stone tossed into a lake can create seemingly endless ripples and so too do our choices create an impact far greater than we might at first expect. Our Lady of Creative Choice has come to you with a message. No matter what situation is happening in your life, no matter how powerless you may feel to change it or control it, you have so much power here. If you knew how much power you had, you would laugh with relief and wonder and reverent joy. There you go. You would laugh with relief and wonder and reverent joy. You would realise that you don't have to control anything or anyone in order to feel empowered. Your power doesn't come from controlling outcomes. It comes from your endless capacity to make choices. Our Lady of Creative Choice helps us when we know that the way we have been choosing to be, perhaps feeling reactive or out of control, might not be serving us anymore. Perhaps we have not felt much choice in the past. Perhaps we might have got caught up in feeling frustrated with another or out of control in certain situations and all we felt we could do was react. Or perhaps we have become so caught up in just trying to get things done or work things out that we forgot that we get to say we get to have a say in our lives. This oracle comes to you as a reminder. <clears throat> you have the power of heaven within you. You don't need to control life, beloved, but you can choose whether you dance with life responsively or resist its flow and feel pushed around by it instead. Through paying attention to what is happening for you in the moment, whether that be feelings of happiness or sadness, a feeling of letting go or moving on or staying put and learning something, you can then make a choice about how you wish to respond. Your responses, your responses to your life circumstances are your choices to make and a source of great power within. You can receive any visitor into your home with a welcoming smile or a bellow of rage, a laugh, or a clear directive to move on. It is always your choice. Okay, well, let's repeat this. You can receive any visitor into your home with a welcoming smile, or a bellow of rage, a laugh, or a clear directive to move on. It is always your choice, and the right choice will be what feels right for you in any given moment. A smile might feel right one day, and the rage feels right in another situation on another day. It is always your choice and your choice creates a pattern of energy that interacts with what is creatively igniting change. You don't have to control it or foresee it. You just need to remember to choose creatively and most importantly of all, with honesty, how you wish to be. Our Lady of Creative Choice comes to you in this oracle with a special message. There is a situation in your life where you are contemplating making a decision. Perhaps it is even a bold choice and you are not sure about it. You are encouraged to be bold and to give yourself permission to choose whatever feels most authentic to you. If you are stuck in a situation and don't believe that you have a choice... This oracle brings you this particular message. You have a choice available here, but you must surrender your way of looking at the situation to the Divine Mother 
and allow a new perspective and therefore more options to become available to you. There is always a creative way forward available. Sometimes we need prayer to help us become more flexible and receptive to access that solution. The following healing process will help you rediscover your power of creative choice, even in that challenging situation through the divine intervention of the Holy Mother Mary. Let's leave with this healing process and affirmation. You stand in a rich landscape with a vivid orange sunset. At your feet, there extends a beautiful blue lake. On the ground around your feet, there are wide flat stones carved with different words on each one, just like the words in this list. Courage, kindness, playfulness, honesty, peace, letting go, surrender, trust, faith, happiness, moving on, standing strong, blessings, miracle, confidence, yes, I am, integrity, truth, me. Reach down and pick up whatever stone or stones you feel most drawn to, whether you see the words on them or not. Perhaps you notice the colour of the stone, or perhaps you sense a word upon the stone, or perhaps not. Stand quietly by the lake, and when you are ready, say the following prayer aloud or quietly in your mind. I call upon Mother Mary, Our Lady of Creative Choice, who loves me unconditionally. Thank you for reminding me of my own creative, divine power of choice. I exercise my power of choice now. I ask you to bless me and encourage me to be creative and conscious with my choices so that my path unfolds in the most glorious and wonderful way possible. So be it. Gently, or with great enthusiasm if you prefer, toss your stone or stones into the lake. You may wish to do this one at a time or all at once. Notice the ripples that flow and know that you have made some good creative choices now. Stay watching those ripples as they expand outwards towards the farthest reaches of the lake. Complete this healing process with the following affirmation. I fully own my power of creative choice. Under the blessings and guidance of the Divine Mother, I am able to think outside of the box and make instinctive, intuitive choices that help me create life experiences that enrich my soul and fulfil my heart. Gratitude to Our Lady of, cre of Creative Choice, who is with me now, reminding me of my innate power and helping me remember to play with life. I pray for her miraculous intervention, that my choices be empowered and divinely inspired now. So be it. What an awesome reading, guys. We had creativity come out from the power of love and gratitude from the angel prayers here. Count your blessings. She's got a gratitude list here. Let's leave it there. There you go, Divine Masculines. Had yourself a, a late a late night reading from me. Okay, give you something to have a think about. I will catch up with you guys soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Sweet dreams. Bye for now.